Our video market update today is for the city of Chesapeake. Great information if you're a buyer or seller. Let's get right to the video. Taking a look at the data for the city of Chesapeake for the month of April 2021, here we are in the closed sales category. Closed sales up 14.7% versus last April of 2020. 5,594 properties were sold in the city of Chesapeake for the month of April 2021. That number, once again, up almost 15% versus where it was last year at this time. You can see the trend line. We're going back a full nine years it's the highest it's been in nine years it's probably the highest it's been longer than that but this is as far back as my graph goes days on market how long does it take to sell a home in the city of virginia beach 12 days 12 days uh, is the average of when your home goes under contract a ratified contract that is almost 50 percent. it's 47.8 percent faster than it was a year ago i mean if we look right here going back a year right there 23 days now we're at 12 right and there you can see if we just went back to 2000 and uh 2010 2009 we're at 56 days 51 days 60 days i mean and here we are 12 days 12 days that is a different mindset if you're a buyer or a seller and it's certainly something that you need to talk to me about if you're thinking about buying or selling a house let's take a look at month supply of inventory bam that trend line down 53.3 1.4 months of inventory, meaning that if you wanted to sell your house, uh, knowing what the other properties that are on the market, there's only 1.4 months of properties currently on the market right now. Normally six to eight months of inventory. We're at 1.4 and there you can see once again, normal market. There's August of 2011, 10 years ago, right? Uh, 8.9 months of inventory, right? Uh, six months of inventory. And then it starts to trend out, trend out, trend out down to 1.4 months of inventory. All right, so let's take a look at sales price. What's going on with that? Just the opposite direction. Sales price in the city of Virginia, Be uh, I'm sorry, Chesapeake, 6.9% over where it was last April. Average sales price, $310,000. Uh, is what an average home is selling for in the city of Chesapeake. Now, remember, when we say that, it's based upon all residential properties. We didn't put any filters on any of these uh, on any of these categories. So you're looking at everything, right? So certain homes are going to certainly have a higher average price than uh, than what the uh, or, or a lower average price than what we're seeing if we just look at everything with a really broad brush. And that's why you need to hire a realtor, such as our firm, to come out do a market analysis specifically specific to your property and not just say, well, that's, that's how much my home is worth. That's, that's not what we're saying at all. It's a very broad brush that we're painting on this illustration. So what does this mean if you're a buyer or a seller? Well, if you're a buyer, you're going to need a realtor to represent you educate you with a market analysis, do all of the work that needs to be done to make sure that you're putting the best offer forward, recognize that you're probably going to be in a multiple offer situation. So what are some tricks uh, that you might use to, to get a better upper hand on that? Check out some of my other videos that can certainly help you with that and that concept. If you've bought a house in the past, it's a different market now than it's been in the past. There you can see it. It's a definitely a different market. So you need to understand what's going on with that. And we can help you. Redifyflatfee.com. With a seller, we can help you uh, even more. And that is because we're a flat fee full service company. We charge a $5,500 flat fee no matter how much your home sells for that is the fee it is not based upon a percentage of the sales price which is usually way higher than uh than fifty five hundred dollar flat fee so please check us out full service professional photographer showing service market analysis everything that a full service company does it's just a flat fee of fifty five hundred dollars save your equity save your money check us out redefyflatfee.com we will be back next month. We're going to be looking at May and see what those numbers look like in comparison to May of 2020. Uh, let us know how we can help you. Check out my other videos. Stay safe out there. See you next month.